I will, I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. John Capistrano to comfort your faithful people in tribulation, place us, we pray, under your safe protection, and keep your church in everlasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth in its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He, who, he whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it is going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites! You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If, you're, if you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle, settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord.
well, we had the clouds in the sky and it rained. <laughs> you know, maybe we would have liked it a few months ago, but we're grateful for the good that it will do us nonetheless. Um, if we look at the television or the internet or the radio, you know, we'll notice that it's the election season. So we put one and one together. Oh, it's an election year um, for the presidency or the Senate or Congress or a local race. Uh, Jesus is trying to get us to see something very important. You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? What's going on? Lord, this is a people that longs to see your face, is what we said in the responsorial psalm. And here, to the people of Israel, and through them to the world, we get to see the face of God in Jesus. Is that the bridegroom is now here on earth with us, the bride. To bring us back to the garden, so to say, and walk with us walking in friendship with God. But do the people, the crowds that he, to whom he's speaking, recognize that in the great story of salvation, it's coming to a climax, that, that the Lord is here? <laughs> well, they, we know how it goes, right? They seek to trap him, to accuse him, to have him condemned and killed. And then the bridegroom comes back. He doesn't like, oh, I'm done. No. Jesus, he rises from the dead to be with us and to share his life with us. First through forgiveness. So we're not going to put the people in the gospel down. Because the same challenge that they had of recognizing the present time of who is with them, we also have that challenge, is to live as believers throughout the day, believing that he's with us, walking with us, not abandoning us, and to live in relationship with him. We start the day well with him here in the Eucharist. But the grace we pray for now is to recognize his presence with us the rest of the day. We now stand for our petitions. <clears throat> for those who are called to the priesthood or religious vocations, may God continue to grant them a spirit of faithfulness and fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who govern, may the Holy Spirit bless them with an abundance of understanding and prudence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that God will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all to persevere in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the young people of our community, may God's voice always resound clearly in their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, especially Jordan Mundy, may they enjoy the fullness of eternal life with God in heaven. And for the intentions of this Mass, John Kelly and the deceased members of the Prochaska family, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold silently in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And together we offer our vocations prayer. God, our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations 
Help our people walk their lives in service to you. Let them hear your spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious as we entrust to your care all who seek to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on the feast day of blessed John Capistrano, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now do. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John Capistrano, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her, by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. <laughs> the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ for the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. And the peace. Here, receive me. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ will be saved. I will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord.
pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which blessed Juan Capistrano never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Wish you all a very good weekend. For men, uh, we have that That Man Is You tomorrow at 6 a.m. And so uh, invite all of you men there. It's at, at Corpus Christi Center. Uh, at 6 a.m. free breakfast and fellowship. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to go to bed pretty soon just to get ready for it. <laughs> the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.